Welcome back, everyone, to Halloween Haunts 365.com, the podcast. I'm Jared. Hi, I'm Terry. Today, we have our first haunt review. We are going to cover Field of Screams, their 30 years of harvesting fears. The only thing I could say is, wow. Yep. First, we're going to play our merch video, and then we're going to get right into it. Let's do it. Well, it was so much fun. It was. We got to spend the night at Field of Screams for the media night. Stop cracking your knuckles while we're there. They can hear that. Oh, my God. Here, already. Now hiring. At Halloween Haunts 365. All right. But we had a lot of fun last night. Got to meet up with the, the true haunt reviewers came together. All yeah. three groups came together. It was a fun yeah, night. Yeah, it was. No, uh, no fake groups out there. Um, people pretending to be other groups that we've seen, and people without websites, and just that's for you, Jackie. I just wanted to get that out there. But we're gonna jump right into our review. You want to do the walkthrough first? Let's do the walkthrough. All right. So this was our night walkthrough of Field of Screams. I don't go inside haunts because we want you to go out and see it for yourselves. But here's the midway, and it's worth driving up just for the midway. That was our walk through a field. That's their midway. That's how much shit they have to offer, even without the attractions. It was awesome. It was such a good time. They build every year. They had a phenomenal light show, which you have to wait to the end of this video to watch. I don't think they slept. No, they had a lot of changes, a lot of different things. Some things I want to talk about too, but we'll get into that. What was our first attraction, dear? The Asylum. Frightmare Asylum. We brought uh, my new horror podcast partner, which we will be starting soon, the Horror Shed Podcast. Follow us now. Subscribe. Everything's set up. We just got to record. We are separating the horror from the haunt. So this channel will be 100% haunted attractions every week. Nice. So during this time, you're going to see three to four videos a week popping out of us. The Friday video, the Friday review should post Saturday. The Saturday review should post Sunday, and then the Sunday is gonna be a little sketchy. We may have to wait till later to record that, depending on if I'm on a flight Monday. Yes. Or maybe we could do it when we get home Sunday night, depending on whatever. Yeah. But yeah, they'll be coming hot and heavy, so be ready for that. Um, that's the Horror Shed podcast. Everything's set up for that. 
but I'm done plugging my shit. It's time to plug Field of Screams. So, our first stop, Frightmare Asylum. We brought Brian and Irene with us. I like bringing new people to these places because I want to see what they remember, see what we remember, and put it all together. They were never there before. Nope. So and they were completely blown away. Yes. So, Frightmare Asylum. What I remember the most was the new clown room. It was pretty cool seeing the dressing room. That was awesome. The checkered room is still insane. Yes. Still insane. That just blows my mind. And a lot of people are remembering the girl on the slab. So if you're listening, great job. She grabbed my arm and she was like, help me. And Brian really liked the Silent Hill room. Oh, yeah. But that's all we're giving away. So let's get to the scoring video and then I'll read it for the podcast faithful after. Here's Frightmare Asylum. <laughs> All right, there's our scoring video for the YouTube. We're going to read them all for the podcast, Faithful, because a lot of people do listen to the podcast. So, Frightmare Asylum completely blew me the fuck away this year. I would agree. It's phenomenal. So, actors, five blood splats. Props, five blood splats. Scenes, five blood splats. Special effects, oh, five blood splats. Makeup, out of this world. Great job, Kylie and her team. Five blood splats. Lighting, perfect. Some of these rooms were perfectly lit. Five blood yes. splats. Originality, you're not finding this shit at HHN. You're not finding this anywhere. Five blood splats. Duration, it's probably only like a five minute walkthrough, but it feels like you're in there for 20. Yes. Five blood splats. Fear factor, this one screamed twice. Yes, I did. And a bunch of our group screamed. Five blood splats. Yes. Sound effects. Badass music coming through. Five blood splats. Overall, Frightmare Asylum, five blood splats. After Frightmare Asylum, took a little break, took over our notes, which we went over with you guys. Uh, then we decided to get the hot houses out of the way before hopping on the hayride. So we went into Den of Darkness. Den of Darkness, some of the notes we have. Crawling. <laughs> Yes, Brittany, we we met up with two of our friends and um, Brittany and John, and Brittany's like, "Oh my God, there's bodies." Yep. Um, the doll room is Terry's favorite. Always will be. Love the dolls. The mannequin room stood out. Yes. The brand new swing room was fantastic, and then the dude jumping across the top. I know that was so cool. At first, I caught it out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, "Wait, did I just see something fly by me?" Yep. And I stopped and I turned, and then he went back, and I was like, "Oh shit, that's so awesome!" Yep. And that's all we're giving up for Den of Darkness. So mm -hmm. we're gonna get to the scoring video. I was blown away again by Den of Darkness. Um, great music playing throughout. I had a great time in there. It was outstanding. So here's Den of Darkness. Den of Darkness, for the podcast faithful. Actors, without a doubt, five blood splats. Oh, definitely. Props, oh yeah, five blood splats. There's a tree in a room. Yeah. Scenes, five blood splats, without a doubt. Special effects, five blood splats. Makeup, five blood splats. Lighting, five blood splats. Originality, who else puts a tree in a room? Five blood splats. Duration? That seems even longer than Frightmare. Yes. 
and john was like are we going Brittany's john john and he was like we're going up i thought we were going back down to go and we go more up he's like how long we been in here uh then a darkness called terry's loudest screen of the night so we're going five on the fear factor those fuckers got me yep <laughs> sound effects five blood splats without a doubt leaving overall five blood splats for dead of darkness so both of these are already in the pile for attraction of the year yes all right so then we went to after we got that out of the way then we did the hayride we did the haunted hayride uh, we it was time to cool off. We weren't getting the cold breeze we were hoping for. I was tired from running from the chainsaws. Well, it's your fault for running. That dude, he followed me around. It was your fault for running. I have that video too. I might add that to the intro. I'm sure. All right. So, on a hayride. The ones that stood out to our group was the pig room. Yes. Definitely the clown room. Clown room, that young lady. Doing the crab walk and then the somersaults on the hayride. Mm -hmm. Fantastic job. The chop shop at the end and then the redneck, redneck scene really stood out to our group. And we were in a fun cart. A lot of people jumping out of their hay. A lot of people jolting. Yes. So it was a fun... Hay Some hayrides you get into can be very annoying. Because there is like 40 of you. And then if someone... Like one year we got stuck with a guy just screaming the same word over and over and over again. But I'm happy we were with a good group. But uh, Hayride blew me away again. There are some things I want to mention after we get to the story, because some of these were close. But integers, voting, took it to where we got it. So here is the Haunted Hayride. <laughs> That was pretty dope. It was. <laughs> For the podcast faithful. And then I'll get into some things I'm noticing. Mm -hmm. Actors, five. The way they're jumping on the cart, without a doubt, awesome. Props. Mm -hmm. Say what you will say about some scenes. It's still one of the best looking hayrides out. So it five is. blood splats. Scenes, five. Borderline five, but it passed the five. Special effects, without a doubt, five blood splats. Makeup, no doubt, five blood splats. Lighting, crazy lighting, five blood splats. Originality, you're not finding a hayride like this around, so five blood splats. Duration, it's a longer hayride. I didn't think I clocked it at 20 or 25 minutes. Which is perfect for a hayride. Yes. Five blood splats. Fear factor, like I said, our cart was jumping. Yes. So, five blood splats. Sound it was a effects. Fun cart. I love the music they put around to it. Five blood splats. So this year, Haunted Hayride did achieve five blood splats. But it was close. It was. I, if I had a dream, like Martin Luther King. <laughs> oh, boy. I would bring more to the cryogenic chamber one. Not a lot happens. Right. And it's a two-parter. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And, I mean, the first one, there's only one guy. Right. But you do have the magic disappearing guy, but yes. nothing happens after that. No. So, I would like to see more out of that, because of the the detail of that place to begin with. And Toby's over here fucking with us. <laughs> but that's what I want to see. And maybe it's time to retire the... Yeah. Time. I mean, maybe next he put so much time and effort into the houses. Oh no, so, no I am not I blaming mean, the team. No, I'm just, I'm just saying that. maybe next year he'll work on the maybe we'll see the hayride. But it was still five. But, yeah. It's still a top hayride. It's still in the running for hayride. I of the still year. love it, and people need to go there. Yep, I still love the new Claw scene. That is so cool. That is awesome. I feel like I'm on the boardwalk. 
like ready to be picked up. <laughs> picked up. That was so funny. <laughs> and now, then we went to Nocturnal. Nocturnal Wasteland. Some of the notes we have for Nocturnal Wasteland: the Swamp Room. Oh, that's my favorite. I, I love that effect. That effect's really, really taken off. And when it's used correctly, like Field of Screams does, it'll scare the shit out of people. Yes, you don't. Oh, I don't want to give that away. Nope, don't give that away. <laughs> so also, what we noticed was the tree of death mm -hmm. in the cemetery part. Beautiful structure, loved it. Awesome new attraction, and the last the scene. Pumpkin. Oh, good. Um, well, I'm just saying, just the pumpkins. I like. Richard, I know. We gotta let other people see that. I know. Okay. Well, I didn't give much away. I just said one word. Okay, pumpkins. And then the last scene, the chainsaw room, which I almost died in again, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, but we're going to get to the scoring of Nocturnal Wasteland, and there's no surprise here, because this one blew me away for a trail. From what it was <laughs> to what it is now. Yes. Let's get to the scoring. <laughs> That was Nocturnal Wasteland. I think that video played correctly, did it? Yes. Okay, good. I lost attention for a minute. I was thinking about next weekend. <laughs> All right, for the podcast, Faithful. And if that video didn't play right. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. I'm getting used to new equipment, so you're going to see some weird lights, audio up and down. And when you get used to settings, it's okay. We'll get there. But it looks hella good. So, Nocturnal Wasteland, actors of five, no doubt. Especially that springboard dude. That was awesome. <laughs> Props of five. The Tesla coil was up, baby. Oh, you were so I was so fucking happy. excited. I stopped. Yes. You did. <laughs> I held up the line. That's okay. I was pressed. I could do what I want. Scenes, five, no doubt. Special effects. It's a fucking Tesla coil. Five. <laughs> makeup. Great costumes. Great makeup. Lighting. Oh. Some areas were well lit. Some were kept darker on purpose. The way the fog worked. Oh, five. Always trip on those big steps, though. Oh, lift your legs. I don't know what to tell I didn't see that it came up, and I was like, boop. I was like, oh, man. There you, goes a roll the, Guys, don't worry about that, because <laughs> she trips in her own house, where she knows there's stairs. So don't, don't worry about that. Uh, originality, there's <laughs> nothing like Nocturnal Wasteland around. No. With that metal work so and the different. stair work. Oh my god. Duration, I felt like I was in there for 30 minutes. I couldn't even tell you how long we were no. in there. It just seemed like... Definitely a five. Yes. Fear Factor, definitely a five because they got Irene. Yes, they did. Yep. Sound yes. effects, a five. Great use of fire. Great use of uh, charges. Great use of everything. Overall... That's a five, and it's definitely up for trail of the year, without a doubt. So, the Field of Screams totals. Five for Haunted Attractions. Activities around Field of Screams. You got games, you got food, you got escape rooms. You mm -hmm. can go there with... And a photo booth. And a photo booth. You can go there without a ticket and have a great time. Atmosphere. Five. For us, it feels like home. For others... It's like a wild jungle that you crawl into right from the get-go. Yes. Entertainment, band was rocking. Light show is amazing. You're going to see that video soon. Haunted Attractions was a five. Food. Hey, I ate in the tent, and we ate on the way up there. But I saw the food options. And John, the Haunt Informer, he had one of his stuffed waffles. He said it was a five. They're getting a five for food. They had a barbecue too, Yeah, they had they? a barbecue pit going on. So, our notes for the final. <laughs> as a total, Build the Screams brings down five blood splats again for us. Yes. 
uh, crazy light show, tons of attractions, tons of food, tons of escape games, tons of carnival games. It's hard to beat the night out at Field of Screams. I would agree. It was amazing. It was such a good time. We were so jacked up when we got back to our hotel. We couldn't fall back to sleep. We couldn't oh fall asleep. Oh my God, it was so hard to fall asleep. All right, but it's fun. This is the moment you guys have been waiting for. I did not edit the audio, so if YouTube brings this down, it happens. But I think it deserves to not be edited. Here's the light show. Kill the screams. <laughs>
Holy shit, that was cool. That was awesome. I want to go back just to watch the light show. He, they did such a great job. Outstanding. Great job. Feel the screams. Hats off to you. Yes. There's my hat off to you. <laughs> um, so full five blood splats out of us for the uh, podcast. We uh, just wow. That's all I could say is wow. That's all I kept saying all night. And I want to give a huge shout out to the Haunt Review crew and the Haunt oh, Informer yeah. hanging out with us all night. Had a good meal together. It was a lot of fun. But uh, feel the screams. If you can only make it the one this year, that's definitely in the lineup for that. It's worth, if you live far, it's worth a drive. It's worth a flight. Yes. <laughs> it's really worth a flight. We go to a lot of haunts, and we're telling you this is worth the trip. The must-see haunted attraction. All four, the midway, the food. It's a must-see haunted attraction. I do like how you don't need a ticket to get in there and play, play in the, the games, games and, and eat the food. I mean, we saw a lot of parents sitting around on the benches just yes. chilling. Um, great time at Field of Screams. Thank you guys so much to all of you. Uh, Jim, Gene, Kylie, Chandra, all of you guys. It's and the whole crew. Made it a whole made it a whole fun night. Thanks for chasing Terry around with a chainsaw. <laughs> That was entertaining. I have that on video for the intro, too. Yes, sir. And uh, thank you, Brian Irene, for coming out and being our test victim. So we can, you know, I have a hard time with Fear Factor because not a lot gets me. No, I know. But watching new people really helps me out. But uh, we have our schedule out next weekend. We will be hitting Nightmare on Gravity Hill and then Kim's Crypt. So make sure you come say hi. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um Got big things coming. Also, check out the Horror Shed podcast. Yes. Nice little plug. <laughs> but this has been Halloween Haunts 365, where every day is haunt season. Goodbye. Bye. Halloween Haunts 365 Productions. Mm-hmm. <laughs>